Okay, in this video, we're going to be using trigonometry as well as uh, our knowledge of true bearings in conjunction with some geometry um, to come up with an answer to this question. Example six. Now, a yacht leaves a dock and sets sail on a bearing of 45 degrees true. After sailing for eight kilometres, the skipper changes their course to a bearing of 135 degrees true and travels a further 10 kilometres. Calculate the distance in which the sailor is from the dock. Now, the most important thing to set yourself up for this question is coming up with an illustration. So, that is what I've gone and done right here, where I have indicated the starting position or the dock. Okay, I've indicated the true north and the bearing in which the sailor took, as well as the distance of eight kilometres as the first part of their leg. They got to a point and change direction to a course of 135 degrees from true north, thus the 135 degrees true, and sailed for 10 kilometres, finishing at this location here. Which then creates a triangle. Now we cannot assume that this is a right angle triangle, okay, which is what I've made a note here. I can only use Pythagoras or trigonometry in the presence of a right angle triangle. Do not assume or don't assume a right angle triangle. So how have I got this? right angle being 90 degrees. Okay, well what I used was the U rule to do that. And what you'll find is that this is 45 degrees here, and this is an unknown angle here. These two true north arrows run parallel, therefore we have a sum of two angles equating to 180 degrees, being this plus this must equal 180. Thus, 180 take 45 degrees gives us 135. Okay, we can then figure this angle out to be a 90 degree angle or a right angle because there are 360 degrees in a circle. Okay, here's our circle. If we take 135 and another 135 from 360, we get left with 90, which is our right angle. So there's our right angle triangle, and we haven't assumed it, we've rationally shown that this is a right angle triangle using our, our knowledge of geometry. Right, once we've got that, we've got a right angle triangle with two sides and we're looking for an unknown hypotenuse being the opposite side to the right angle, our unknown x or our c value, and we can use Pythagoras to solve. Okay, Pythagoras' formula or theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Okay, substituting our value for c, our value for a and our value for b into the formula and then expanding and simplifying before solving, we get an answer of 12.8 kilometres. Okay, so I've said 8 squared plus 10 squared is 64 plus 100. It gives us 164 as an x squared value. To get x by itself, I have to take the square root of the other side. So x is therefore equal to the square root of 164, which gives us this 12.8 kilometres.